next uh, this is a small summary of human genome project next uh, we will uh, we'll talk briefly about the origin of mouse genomics then again when we sequence the whole human genome now we need to sequence the uh, model organism which uh, which is the most frequently used model organisms in the experimental approaches that is mouse so human genome sequence project was launched in 1990 and it also included the mouse as one of its five central model organisms and targeted the creation of genetic physical and and eventually the sequence maps of the mouse genome so uh, at that time the mouse genome sequencing consortium was established and there are very these uh, institutes and universities are the very famous names you know that welcome trust sanger institute was part of the project washington university genome sequencing center was also the par, uh, part of this project and uh, massachusetts institute of technology mit is also the part of the project and one uh, browser was established we will discuss this browser later on that is the ensemble genome browser so all these uh, these four different organizations uh, collaborated together and uh, made a um, mouse genome con sequencing consortium to come up with the uh, uh, information or the genome of the why uh, we did uh, this mouse made the human mouse genome consortium is because there is a mouse and human there is a high relationship of human and mouse and only there was a gap of 65 million years between human and mouse based on the paleontological information that is the fossil records and uh, based on the molecular clock estimate there is a, a gap of 75 million years between human and mouse molecular clock actually we will talk about it later in the in evolutionary part but here you just uh, should have an idea that molecular clock means that the rate of change of sequence of any genome the uniform rate of change of any sequence of a genome and based on that uh, change of sequence or mutation of sequence that instituted the gap of 75 million years between human and mouse and the, uh, just for your information the uh, the mouse uh, biological name is mus musculus and this uh, uh, mus musculus strain this was used for, uh, for the sequencing of mouse genome uh, by the human mouse genome consortium and if you see here that uh, the gene count just like uh, similar to the human the gene count of uh, uh, human mouse is uh, there were protein coding genes of 22,931 there's a almost same number of genes but slight difference the database version and NCBI version is mentioned here assembly version and the novel protein coding genes that are specific to mouse were only 131 and uh, for pseudo genes were 4678 rna genes were 73782 and uh, gene scan predictions were uh, this and snp and snp predictions were this so here you can see that again uh, the overall there was not much difference when we talk about the known protein coding genes and again i'll ask you what is the difference between pseudo genes and the RNA genes in, the, uh, in our discussion part right next the main difference or the uh, you can say the interesting difference between human and mouse is that the uh, human you know total number of mouse chromosomes are in haploid state and 19 autosomes and plus sex chromosome X and Y in human there are 22 plus uh, X and Y and uh, all mouse chromosomes are acrocentric actually this is the difference that uh, in mouse chromosome uh, the centromere of the of the chromosome if you see here there is no center you can see no centromere because the centromere of a mouse lies on the tip of the hair of the of the mouse chromosome so that's why it is known as uh, acrocentric this is the, the here these are the uh, centromeres that's why this is one difference Maybe that occurred due to any breakage of the chromosome or any uh, or it is any other reason that we may look in the our evolutionary biology part. Right. And now there's one thing which uh, uh, you should know that the, why now this is important to sequence the mouse and how mouse is similar to uh, similar to human. Uh, here you can see that there's a conserved syntony. I'll talk about syntony in the, my next slide. The conserved syntony between human and mouse genome. If we say 
that uh, actually the syntony uh, is actually the common uh, just say the common segments whole segments between human and mouse so over 90% of the mouse and human genomes can be partitioned into corresponding regions of conserved syntony means that 90% of the region of men, of mouse and human are same reflecting segments in which the gene order in most common ancestor has been conserved in both species it means both the species human and mouse have 90% similarity at genomic region level matlab dono jo hain wo bilkul 90% region aisa hai jo bilkul same hai dono right uh, there are about 32 342 conserved syntenic segments between human and mouse that there are uh, these syntenic segments are actually 342 which are conserved between human and mouse these segments are of 303 kb to 64 mb in length it means a minimum of 303 kb segment which is totally cons conserved between human or mouse or more than 64 mb region is also conserved between human and 